Hello CBA, I'm Tia Marshall. And I'm Max Latchett. And welcome to our first episode of the 2023-2024 school year of BNN. In this episode, we take a look at the progress being made on the new performing arts wing. Players Only ESPN, also known as Ryan's Story, has some sports news. And Spirit Week was held coming up now. It's that time of year again. Spirit Halloween is taking over our town's local Red Lobster, and kids are flocking to get their costumes. With the Squid Games costume being the hit of last year, it's going to be tough to outdo it this Halloween. I think the Barbie and Ken costume will dominate the halls of CBA. I totally disagree. I think we'll see many Oppenheimer enthusiasts roaming the halls. Well, Max, let's see what the students of CBA plan on wearing. I'm going to be a pig for Halloween. I'm going to be Woody and Buzz Lightyear. For Halloween, I'm going to be Dorothy Gale from The Wizard of Oz. I'm doing a matching costume with my best friend, and she's going to be Captain Hook, and I'm being Tinkerbell. Princess. I'm going to be Black Widow. As you know, because of a generous donor, we have been able to expand and renovate our performing arts wing. Here's what Mr. Davis has to say about that. Hey, CBA. I'm Tom Dernley. Joining me is Mr. Davis, our band director. I'm going to be asking him a few questions about our new performing arts center. So who's going to be using this performing arts center? The facility is going to be used by the band, the orchestra, and the chorus for all of our concerts. It's going to host our junior high musical, our spring musical. Um, it's actually going to be the new band and orchestra room because the, to accommodate the size of the performance center, they had to tap into the old band room. And so now we'll be rehearsing on the stage every day. And I'm sure a lot of us are wondering when it's going to be finished. That's the magic question. Um, so we're being told mid-November. So um, they're making really good progress. I go in every day and take pictures, like a day-by-day -day update. So they're moving pretty quickly. And are you excited? I'm extremely excited. So this is my 29th year here, and this is the third time we've been told we're going to get a performing arts center. And it looks like this time is finally going to happen. With this upcoming addition to our school, we will no longer have to host our musicals outside of CBA. Let's hear from Mr. Kalimlam, who will be revealing the upcoming fall drama. Mr. Kalimlam, what is this year's fall drama? So the fall drama this year is called One Stoplight Town. Uh, it's about all the people who live in a one stoplight town, which just means it's a really small town. Everybody kind of knows each other and everybody's kind of up in each other's business. So a little bit of a comedy about that. And when will this be performed? Uh, it'll be November 3rd and 4th, so it's a Friday, Saturday, uh, down in the chapel. I'll be sure to bring the whole family to watch this year's performance. And now a word from CBA's favorite sports announcer, Players Only ESPN, to give us a rundown on the world of CBA athletics. Hi, CBA. I'm Ryan Story, and this is my co-host, Ron Burgundy. The brothers have had a great start to the fall season. The boys' golf team won the OHSL championship, while the girls' tennis team went undefeated in their regular season. The girls' swimming team also had a great year, going 6-1. and one. Both cross-country teams have done great. The boys and the girls both have sexual play coming up soon. The boys' soccer team locked up their number one seed with an unbeaten regular season record. The girls' soccer team doubled their wins from last season and claimed the fourth seed in the sectional tournament. Lastly, the football team is undefeated, having clinched the number one seed in the playoffs. Good luck to all the CBA squads as they go into sectional play. In recent weeks, CBA held its annual Spirit Week, where everyone dressed up according to the theme of the day. On Monday, students wore Marvel and superhero attire. My superpower is the ability to see over the underclassmen. Wouldn't know what that's like. On Tuesday, students got to represent their favorite colleges, and on Wednesday, they wore their pajamas. Hopefully no one got caught daydreaming, <coughs> sleeping, about the homecoming dance to conclude the week. On Thursday, students dressed up for Aloha Day, and on Friday, they wore their favorite CBA merch. Concluding Spirit Week was our annual competition to crown the Mr. CBA. Our candidates gave their closing remarks on the performance and the outcome of this year's battle for the crown. I'm honored to have been picked as Mr. CBA. What Mr. CBA means to me is representing the core values that CBA was founded on and being a leader and setting an example for my peers and the underclassmen around me. To me, being Mr. CBA means being the true alpha of the school. Um, it means commanding respect when you walk through the hallways and you know, just being a top dog. Um, unfortunately, this year is rigged against me, but you know, it's a great competition usually and it shows um, the spirit of De La Salle at our school. 
To me, Mr. CBA is the person who best exemplifies the senior class and embodies the Lasallian spirit of CBA. Mr. CBA means that you get a lot of respect, so if you're like that guy at the school, that's what Mr. CBA is. Other than Frank Sinatra, the pep rally also featured special appearances from Dua Lipa and the Baby. It was truly an honor to witness the performances of the greats. Now that the 7th graders have gotten a taste of the CBA experience, we decided to ask them what their favorite part of their time here has been so far and who their senior buddy is. My name is Jordan and my senior buddy is Jeremiah. And my favorite part about CBA is how interactive and fun it is. My name is Julie and my senior buddy is Julia. My favorite part about CBA is how everyone is always there for each other. My senior buddy is Everett Gilchrist. And my favorite part about CBA so far is football. Hi, my name is Sloan and my senior buddy is Sydney. And my favorite part of CBA is being involved in a great community. Right now in CBA, your heat index is 107. But don't be frightened. With winter dress code, you're not cold. Within the coming week, expect the weather in the negative 40s. A little frost. So put your snow tires on, especially the juniors, because you guys already have trouble driving. Turning it back to Max and Tia. Well, that wraps up this episode of Brothers News Network. Thank you all for tuning in. Stay classy, CBA.